It is a manhunt that has transfixed America for a week, and it came to a bloody end in the wilds of the Idaho mountains. 24 hours after they began scouring one of the most rugged landscapes in America, police confirmed it was all over. During uh, uh, an arrest attempt at the north end of uh, Moorhead Lake in Idaho, uh, suspect James Lee DiMaggio uh, was shot and killed by uh, an FBI tactical agent assigned to an FBI uh, headquarters unit. Uh, Hannah Anderson was located with DiMaggio. She appears well and uh, was rescued and will be transported to a hospital in Idaho. DiMaggio had been on the run since Sunday night, suspected of having kidnapped Hannah, the 16-year-old daughter of family friends. Her mother, Christina, had been found dead in the burned-out ruins of DiMaggio's home in Southern California. Alongside her, the body of Hannah's eight-year-old brother, Ethan. What set off an extraordinary chain of events that began here remains a mystery. Ethan and Tina, I love you both. We all love you. For Hannah's father, Brett, a man he once called a friend, had torn apart his family. The search had narrowed to a wilderness called the River of No Return after DiMaggio's car was found and he and Hannah were spotted by horse riders. Dozens of investigators swarmed the countryside, closing in on the pair. The search has also demonstrated the value of increased use of Amber Alerts about a missing child. For the first time, millions of people who've never signed up to receive them did. Authorities say it led to an increase in tips from the public. With DiMaggio dead and Hannah safe and said to be in good health, the search is over. But the question, why, may never be answered. Greg Milam, Sky News.